may I request that you all take out the question paper so that when I refer you to the question paper, you will be able to see where I am reading. When you are doing the financing activities, when you just because these details will not be given, this process from the issue of shares, sometimes these details are not given. You will just be given the cash effects of financing activities and you will be required to fill in the details and show the calculation. So it is important to remember that the company is mainly financed by shares. By when we are issuing shares, that is where we get most of our funds. But if that money that we, we, we obtained from the issuing of shares is not enough, we then look for another option wherein we need to take a loan. So that is why under financing activities, you will have the proceeds from the issue of shares, the repurchase of shares, and the change in loan. Right, let us then proceed to another section, which is net change in cash and cash equivalents. The net change is calculated, even if you are required to calculate the net change and this format is not given, you may as well just draw it in your answer sheet. If you are given just a blank column space, you must just draw it like this because if you are not calculating the net change using this format of working backwards, the chances of getting the wrong amount, they are very likely. So you start by filling in the opening balance, you filling in the closing balance, and then you work backwards. Then you will get the net change, which is 100% correct. These are financial indicators. Our operating profit on sales is 12.7%. That is 0 0,6 is to 1. This business has to make sure that the stock is sold because the, 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 the total of 659,500, it means the amount that is contributing a lot to this total is for the stock. So should the stock not be sold, then the business will be in trouble in terms of how are they going to pay for their current liabilities. So our percentage return on average shoulders equity is 11.4 percent. The dividend payout rate for the current year is 67.6 percent. So this brings us to the end of question two, which was based on financial indicators and cash flow statement.